All right, what's going on? I'm gonna head over to Anthony's before we start the video. Salute the stars and bars. Confederate flag, maybe that's what it's all about. All right, anyways, we got the final going on here today too. All right, we got to um, pack my bag. Cause we're gonna be taking the fort over there up to his place. So that means I probably won't be wearing a helmet. I usually do, but since I got all this crap to carry, I ain't carrying a helmet too. And I gotta take my homework. And most importantly, my Kawasaki grinder, it's four and a half inch grinder. Uh, we got a 30 grit cutting blade on it. We're gonna cut all the rusty crap off. It's a, obviously four and a half inch blade. So yeah, we're gonna cut the crap out of that trailer. We're trying to look halfway decent. All right, so let me set this down and get all the crap packed away here. Safety glasses, too. I just happened to use uh, sunglasses because I think safety glasses look queer. I do not know where my glasses are, though. So it looks like we're going to have to go with safety glasses, I guess. big deal. He lets me drive that four-wheeler if I'm walking all that way to get to him. He's usually pretty good about that stuff, though. And, oh, got some news on the dogs. We got the puppies back from the starting pen. And, uh, I haven't been out with them yet. I haven't been running dogs in a while. But I don't have enough time with all this bow hunting. Here's my decrepit trailer. I need to fix that tire on it. That's my pup right there. No, not that one. This one here. With the block of your head, that's my other pup. That's my dad's pup. That's my dad's pup. This dog we're trying out for a buddy in Southern Ohio. He's a fat sucker. Not worth buying. But anyways, let's go. We gotta go all the way to the end of the field. Um, what we're gonna be doing out throughout this video is uh, we're gonna make it into parts. I don't see it going over five parts. If we make um, about 10 minute videos each, we should be good. I'd say, so. yeah, we'd be good. 10 minute videos, five, it's about 50 minutes. I don't see us going over that. Uh, hopefully Anthony's got an angle grinder so I'm not the one doing all the grinding. I don't know if he's going to run one or not. Last time I was over here to do a project with him, he was afraid to run it. Because, you know, if anyone has ever ran an angle grinder before, they uh, throw away a lot of sparks. I'm talking a lot of sparks. And uh, for some reason, he thinks those freaking things can catch you on fire, but they can't. They're really small. You really don't have to worry about it. I'll be underneath that trailer grinding some crap off. I ain't gonna flinch a bit. But I've been running one for, oh, I don't even remember how many years. I think I've had mine for about five. 
so I was nine when I got it. That sounds about right. And uh, my uncle first showed me how to use an angle grinder at the age of seven. What do you expect? That's how the rednecks roll. If he was bringing it to my house, take it over to my uncle's, use the plasma cutter. Always move up the bigger and better things. Angle grinder's pretty elementary after using that plasma cutter for an X amount of months. They're pretty cool. This is where uh, I ride the dirt bike at to get to TCTC and stuff like that to ride. But I don't let no one come back here with the four wheel or the dirt bikes. Because my tree stand's set right in those woods right there. I gotta walk that every day just to get to the tree stand. Not that far of a walk, but uh, still I don't want no one back here on a four wheel or a dirt bike. My dirt bike's broke anyway, he's gotta tear the whole rear end out of it. Get a new tire rim. Put the sprocket I have on that tire, because it's brand new. I'll put that sprocket on the new tire. And I'm hoping this tire comes with um, a form of brakes in it. New brake plates. They're like shoes. They're shoe brakes. There's like a butterfly in the middle of them. And um, when you hit the brake, the butterfly turns to the right. And it opens them up like that to stop you. I don't really like them. I prefer drum brakes. But what are you going to do? told Anthony if I wasn't there just to ride up here but I don't see him or hear him we need to make his pipe louder my dirt bike and everybody else to ride with we've got our own custom pipes like I took a pot can I hollowed out the one end and made the other end narrow so that um it's louder just put that on the end but I got a two-stroke so it don't really matter gotta take the spark arrestor out and that's all you gotta do just pipe clamp down your uh, pop can in your set I'm hoping to get Anthony bow hunting back here with me one of these days so he can videotape me. And heck, I'll go to his house bow hunting with him one of those days, videotape him, I guess. He's not that big into the bow hunting, though. He don't go every day like I do. I've been going every other day, but we I got into this trailer project with him here. And so what it is, it's an old bailing wagon. We're going to put... I'll strip all the old metal off that's not needed at all and uh, cut off all the old bolts with the grinder and uh, then what we're going to do is drill a lot of them holes out put our layer of plywood over top of that frame and bolt the plywood down to the frame of the trailer. And then uh, what we were thinking about doing was getting some plastic porch chairs like. Let's see if they have any on their house. No, they don't. But yeah, here comes Anthony. Plastic porch chairs and we're gonna bolt that down with plywood along with the plastic porch table. Then pull that around. It's gonna look real redneck. We're gonna have our Confederate flag hanging off the back of that. Oh, he's an idiot. I heard his four wheeler stop right up here. He shut it off. He's making sure I walk that long way. No, he's coming. All right, I'll make a video once we get Anthony and we'll get his input on the project here.